And coming up next, it's a UFC welterweight division matchup. You know, we trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts, maybe more than we should, but this guy fits the bill. Maybe doesn't stand out in any one area on film, but plus skills everywhere. And you gotta think tonight, Joe, with his skill set, he's more than comfortable really anywhere this fight goes. If he needs to stand and strike, he can do it. If the fight hits the canvas, he can submit you. A lot of different skills brought to the table by this young man. This guy is a very well-rounded fighter. You never know what he's gonna do. His striking is world-class, his ground game is excellent, and he mixes them up very well. So Joe, as this fighter makes his way to the octagon, we have to start with the kicking technique. It's excellent. Doesn't telegraph anything. Gets his foot to the target as quickly as any fighter on this UFC roster. More often than not, guys don't even see it coming. He attacks that lead leg beautifully. Opponent certainly is wary of those lightning fast kicks coming in here tonight. This fighter has outstanding footwork. He is amongst the best in the world at changing angles and always being in a position where he can land against his opponent, but he's out of range of his opponent's counterattacks. Our tail of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. Well, how about the age discrepancy here? More than 15 years of Some differences in height and reach as well. All right, we send it inside the octagon to the veteran voice, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He's got five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 160 pounds. Fighting out of San Francisco, California, USA, Parker. And now he's losing his opponent. Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer. Making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 6 inches tall, weighing in at 156 pounds. Fighting out of New York, New York, Assassin! <laughs> and when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata. You ready? You ready? All so right, we are getting underway here at Madison Square Garden in New York City. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. There he goes. That's it. Boom. And there's another one. Rock him, suck him out of the shoot here. Good defense there. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, how good is that jab? Yeah, he's getting lit up here. Oh, clipped him with the jab. Oh! This could be it right here. Really threw everything into that uppercut, but fell short. Oh! Body kick, look at that. Huge block there. Tags him with a flush left.
tries a big hook to the head, but misses. How about that shot? Oh, big shot! Back to his feet again. Amazing. He's got him hurt here. Powerful jab. All oh, the combinations continue to pile up. Well, plenty of time here to go in round one. He has really gotten off to a good start tonight. He and his corner prioritized an aggressive all-offense start to this one, and that is exactly the way it's played out. Back to the feet now. It appears the cut on his cheek is getting oh. worse. He's in big, big trouble. but fell short. Body kick, look at that. Hard hook. What an end to round one. So both fighters survive and advance to see a next round, but not without absorbing significant damage. Knockdowns on both sides. We'll see who can make the adjustments before this next round. And here another big shot lands and another knockdown. And here another clean shot lands and another knockdown. What an action-packed round. It looked like it almost ended on multiple occasions. Palmer is in the building doing work as usual. Okay, you ready, round two? Ready? Second round underway. That last round was absolutely insane. If this round gets off to anything like the last round, one of these guys is going out. I can't imagine a scenario where if they continue where they left off in the last round, that one of these guys doesn't get knocked out. All right, so another stiff jab there. Really good use of that weapon, not unlike he did oh, in the Oh, huge game. right hand! He is hurt. Let's go to a different angle. Check it out again. Boom. Well, what a moment for this fighter here tonight. A massive knockout on the sport's biggest stage. Seminal moment for that fighter tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliot has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, five seconds at round number two. We're playing the winner by... So just the way he drew it up here tonight, what a monumental moment and knockout to get his hand raised here tonight. He kept the judges out of it. He has certainly set himself up for a major opportunity here moving forward, but you can be sure tonight is about this knockout. He'll be celebrating deep into the night with his friends, his family, his coaches. Congratulations.